Okay, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about bovine spongiform encephalopathy. And so what that is, is a bovine, or BSE is a fatal disease in cattle affecting the central nervous system, and it's also more commonly known as mad cow disease. So some of the symptoms are nervous or aggressive behavior, abnormal posture, incoordination or slight stumbling, uh, difficulty standing, decreased milk production, weight loss, and the symptoms can have an incubation period of two and a half to five years, Ooh, excuse me, before even it could be expressed, and then in the last three to six months before death, the symptoms are more prevalent. Yeah, I mean, that's a crazy incubation period. Mm -hmm. That's probably almost unheard of anything else that sits there that long. I say another one that I saw, another article said three to six years, mm -hmm. yeah. so about the same time frame. Amazing. And so how is it caused is BSC occurs as a foodborne infection associated with the use of meat and bone meal as a protein supplement in feeds. Um, it is exper experimentally transmissible by injection. So studies have been done in cattle, sheep, and mice where they have injected the BSC infection into those animals. And they had a study where mice developed BSC and they actually ate meat on their own after the injection and then so the agent how this is done is a prion which is a modified natural protein and so the target tissues and mechanisms so a buildup of prions form which develop sponge-like lesions onto the brain and spinal cord causing deterioration in functions so the symptoms of unstable and wobbling is just because the sponge lesions are digging into the tissues. Destroying the nerve tissue. Yes. I get a question on the last slide about the injection. Where was the injection made into the animal? Uh, directly into like the spinal cord. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And so this little figure are two um, just pictures, I guess, of evaluated brain and so these right here this side is like a normal very little white and then this side the BSE infected these like white dots are the affected area the BSE lesions and so how BSE was discovered was in the winter of 1981 a herd manager uh, noticed his cattle were having scrapey like symptoms and after a vet treated the cattle for scrapey with no signs of getting any better or being cleared, they discovered BSE. And so treatments, there is no treatment for BSE, although it's not contagious and cannot be spread through animal to animal contact. And so in 2003, trade restrictions were placed in 30 countries, including the US, on beef exports from Canada after BSE was reported. Uh, in 2005, U.S. opened up to Canadian cattle and that were less than 30 months of age. And the reason why less than 30 months of age is because in that age range, beef cattle have a 0.05% chance of having BSE. And previous cases worldwide, there's plenty, but in the U.S. there's only been noted of five in last year in Alabama. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's recent. still around, I guess, huh? Yes. Wow. Yep, uh, the case in Alabama was only one cow, and she was 11 years old. Okay. So they just instantly mm -hmm. got rid of her. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> here are my references. Okay. Any questions? Uh, excellent. I, well, I just got a couple of comments. I remember, uh, you know, there's a human form of this mm -hmm. that goes from human to human. And remember how you, I was asking about the, uh, the mice experiment where they inject it into the uh, spinal cord yeah. and pass it on? Mm -hmm. um, Years ago, somebody, uh, some surgeon was doing brain surgery, and they did brain surgery, let's say, on patient A. Mm -hmm. And if you're a brain surgeon, you just go from patient to patient. You know, you just do that all day. Well, lo and behold, unbeknownst to them, patient A had the human mm -hmm. form of BSE. Yeah. And then they sterilized the instruments and did brain surgery on patient B. And then a number of years later, patient B came up with the human form mm -hmm. of BSE, and they traced it back to prions being passed from the surgery instruments from patient A, 
who had then subsequently been found with the human form of BSE. So it was passed through the surgery instruments, and then therefore they learned that autoclaving doesn't destroy the prions. And so they've done a lot of different things in brain surgery. But you know, you'd think, okay, I'm gonna autoclave the instruments, they're all sterilized. Yeah. They just go on and boom, they passed the prions to a second patient who was not infected initially.